Guru of Nothingness. Hello everybody, this is the Guru of Nothingness. And I'm probably going to need to equalize the sound. Let me do that now. Uh, music. Don't know if this covers the sounds in game, but you know, let's find out. So, yeah, this is Castle Miner Z. It came out on the uh, the old Xbox Live, and it came out on the indie section. And uh, after a long time on green light, and then being off green light, and then going back onto green light, and then finally being released on Steam, it's been released on Steam, believe it or not. Uh, so, yeah, quite minimal. To say the least, it, it, you'll notice it's 720p here. So, make of that as what you will. But anyway, I will host a quick game. Um, we shall do some survival. Normal. New world. Loading the world. This game looks awfully familiar. It's 10 gold stars if you can work out what game this is similar to. That's right! It is Minecraft! So yeah, another Minecraft clone. Well, I say clone. Not really a, a massive clone. For that reason that- oh! Good start, bugged into a hole. This is how you make a game. Uh, for fuck's sake. So, the game- the menu is capped at 60 by the looks of things, and the game itself is capped at 30. So, yeah, that there, that's the difference between this and, uh, and Minecraft. Guns and zombies. Excuse me? If you could kill me, that would be great. Where the fuck did they go? Teleport, oh no, teleport. To surface, there we go. Oh, no, we don't go. So as you can tell, it's about mining and getting your looters and making guns to kill more zombies. And then you get dragons that come and they blow shit up and they try and kill you to stop you from getting your looters. This was a game that I absolutely loved and spent so much time playing back in the days of Xbox. And there was a very, very big group of us that would sit and would make a big ass base around this tower thing that shows like the central spawn point of the map. And we had an epic tower and we all went out and thought that we were the Barry McFrancis from Skyrim and started killing all the dragons. And we weren't, we sucked at it and we died. Lots. Um, ye. We start off with the basics. Believe it or not, that's a torch. Kind of looks like a microphone with a uh, brown wooden stand. But you know. I don't even know how much this game was. I got it for free because, you know, I pretty much asked for it. Because if you don't ask, you don't get. Plus, I was there when they were like trying to test it on PC. Like, yeah, we'll give you all copies, like, soon, and we got no copies, and I was disappointed. Yep. And if you'll notice the, 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 the pickaxe that you get at the start, it's not the fastest, and doesn't make cutting things open fun, not by any stretch of the imagination. <sighs> So you'll be asking yourself, what has Minecraft got that, that that this hasn't? Well, 1080p for a start. Um, things to do. A fun setup stage. More than 30 frames per second. Um, the ability to be modded the shit out of with like lots and lots of cool shizzle, like things on tech it and feed the beasts. Um, e. There's not lots to do. Not lots at all. 
the more and more I play it, the more I realise that this isn't fun on PC. Because there are so many other better games on PC. Like Minecraft. Even though I don't really like Minecraft. But I like the other things, like Feed the Beasts. But I could go and play Dark RP or... <sighs> Anything that isn't this shit. But you know, for the for use I decided to make this very, very short video. However, the, the one thing I will say, the developers at Digital DNA Games who make this are very friendly. And this is one of the better indie titles on Xbox. However, it just sucks on the PC port because there are better things on the PC. This because this came out before like the before Minecraft Xbox Edition. So it was very, very big. However, the Minecraft Xbox Edition hasn't got guns. And this has. So it's still got going, things going for it on Xbox. However, on PC... Eh, it could do with a little bit. More things added to it before people will start flooding the servers. Oh yeah, and setting up servers on this is a bit of a pain in the ass. Well, there's not much else to do on this, is there? Kind of terrible. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Guru Plays, and I'll see you when I play a better game. Goodbye.